Okie dokie. In this problem, we are using Fick's law along with the values in this chart to identify what the diffusion rates are for cells 1, 2, and 3. And we will order them in increasing order. So meaning from smallest to largest. So um, Fick's law before I said it was this just to have it in a more uh, corresponding format. Uh, it's the same thing. It's just we'll call it rate is equal to k times a over m, the area over the thickness of the membrane, and then change in concentration is represented with this with this delta c. So let's get started. For cell one, we are finding the rate. So we have k is 5.14. Again, we are using cell one's values here in this first column. So 5.14 times A, which is 1.85, divided by M, which is 6.35, and then all times delta C, which is 1.32. You may be asking yourself, what is this times 10 to the negative 9 on both A and M? Well, the convenient part is that because it's on both A and M, technically we should be plugging in 1.85 times 10 to the negative 9 uh, for the area and 6.35 uh, times 10 to the negative 9 for the thickness. But the idea is because they're both 10 to the negative 9, those just cancel out. And so that's why I've just written it as 1.85 over 6.35. So again, you can basically ignore the times 10 to the negative whatever. All right, let's open up Desmos and get started. We are just plugging this in to get some decimal value here. 5.14 times 1.85 divided by 6.35 all times 1.32. And that'll give us 1.98 if we round to two decimal places. 1.98. Let's see if we can roll through these next two. So working with cell 2, now we have the rate will be equal to K, which is 3.17. Area over the thickness, which is 5.52 divided by 7.41, all times delta C, which is 1.45. Let's go ahead and calculate this. 3.17 times 5.52, divided by 7.41, all times 1.45. And that'll give us about 3.42. All right, so we've done cell one and cell two. Let's knock out cell three and put these babies in order. Cell three starts with K, which is 1.26 times A over M, 3.63 over 7.72, all times 1.51. 1.26 times 3.63 divided by 7.72, all multiplied by 1.51, and we get about 0 0.89, 0 0.89 as our final rate of diffusion. All right, so from smallest to greatest, we have 1, a 2 and three so it looks like cell three one and two should be the order it looks like so three one and two is option e let's break out the eraser to see that e is in fact our answer i hope this makes some sense if you'd like another uh, like to see another example worked out please visit the second example video